Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So finally, after two months of trying this product, I can finally share with you my thoughts about it. But before we start, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do subscribe down below. And also, click the notification bell so that you will be notified if I post new videos. So let's start. So this year, I started adding toner on my skincare regimen. I think it's really important. Hindi lang niya actually nililinis yung face mo, but it also prepares your face on your next um, skincare routine, which is yung mga moisturizer, mga serum, and other stuffs na nilalagay nyo sa skincare regimen nyo. So actually, I already made a review on Kiehl's Calendula Toner. If you haven't watched that video yet, I will put it on the description box below. You can go check it out. And as promised, I decided to try another toner, which is yung Thayer's. Actually, this is a very famous brand and it's also a famous toner. It has different varieties and scents that you can choose from. Merong lavender, lavender mint, um, peach, cucumber, rose petal, and if you don't want any scent at all, meron din silang unscented. So, yun na nga, I got mine sa rose petal. Actually, my boyfriend got this for me as a present. So, he bought this naman sa Amazon. And itong rose petal, ito yung pinakamaraming reviews so far sa Amazon. That's why he picked this scent. Meron na rin actually dito sa Philippines. May ina-offer yung healthy options, tsaka yung Watsons. It's only 695 pesos. So let's start first muna with the packaging. So sa packaging niya, it's very simple. Ayan siya. Ganyan lang yung itsura niya. Wala namang masyadong art eh. And it's already 355 ml. I don't know if they have a smaller size. Pero so far sa Watsons and sa Healthy Options, puro ganitong size yung ino-offer nila. Ito ata yung standard nila. Um, and then meron lang din siyang tiny nozzle tip. Dito. So basically, mako control niya yung dami ng ilalabas nito. So in terms of its smell naman, um, since it's rose petal, ganun yung amoy niya, rose petal. As in, maamoy mo talaga kaagad yung scent niya. As soon as you pat it onto your face, hindi naman siya masyadong matapang. And mawawala yung scent niya after a couple of minutes. Hindi naman siya magstay dito sa face mo for a very long time. And then yung sa loob naman niya, it's just clear na liquid. Yun na nga, I've been using this for 2 months already. And hanggang ngayon, wala pa sa half yung nababawas dito. And also, this is an alcohol-free toner. Important talaga for me yung alcohol-free because hindi na niya masyadong ma-aggravate yung pagiging dry ng face ko. So basically, this product, yung ini-aim niya is to tighten the pores and smoothen the skin and give it a naturally healthy glow. So yun yung gusto niyang i-achieve sa face mo. So let's start muna with the positive side. It's really big and it's also cheap na rin considering na malaki na siya. Sobrang dami niya. Plus the scent is really good and you can choose different kinds of scent depending on your preference. In terms of the face, so this product really helps you to make sure that your face is really clean. And also, hindi ako nag break out while using this product. I have a very sensitive skin, but this product really helped me, especially sa redness. Meron kasi akong mga redness dito sa side ng nose ko. And actually, this helped na medyo matanggal yung pagiging red sa ibang parts ng face ko. Pag nilagay mo siya sa face mo, it's not sticky at all. Parang very refreshing nga siya. Nalilinis niya ng maayos. It removes yung mga residues ng makeup mo. It's alcohol-free toner. So, meaning hindi magdry yung face ko ng too much. Pero, upon trying this product kasi, I have a combination type of skin. So, the first time I started using this, twice ko siyang ginagamit, morning and night time. And, um, after two days, super nagdry talaga yung face ko. Na kahit nag-moisturizer na ako, nagdry talaga siya. That's why I stopped using it every morning. So, once a day ko na lang siya ginagamit. And basically, it worked naman. Hindi na masyadong naging dry as before. So, I think if you have a very dry skin, I don't recommend na gumamit kayo nito. Because it's, you know, very drying sa face. So, if you have an oily skin, better since it's made for oily skin types. Plus, nung nagkaroon ako ng pimple, the other day, nagkaroon ako ng pimple dito. And actually, patubo pa lang siya. Parang magiging 
the next day parang magiging malaki pa lang yung pimple but then when i soaked it dito sa tears na to with a cotton pad and i left it for about 5 minutes the next day hindi na siya tumubo and it was completely dry talagang nagdry yung pimples ko and yun nga it controls yung redness which yun yung gusto ko because um, i have a lot of redness kasi sa face so mas nako control niya yung redness and also na prevent niya yung pimple. Kung pag nilagay niyo tong product na to, walang sting sa face niyo, walang wala kang mararamdaman na anything. Um, hindi siya harsh sa face, pero yun na nga, very drying lang talaga siya. So okay siya actually if you are acne prone and you, if you have an oily skin. Pero if you have scars, I don't think na this would help. And also, um, hindi rin siya nakakapag-tighten ng pores. Medyo malaki yung pores ko. So when I tried using this, hindi naman, wala naman changes na nangyari sa pores ko which hindi niya nagawa. Hindi rin niya actually na um, na-remove yung blackheads, yung whiteheads. Andiyan pa rin siya. Pero overall, yung redness, yung pagiging clean ng face ko, pag-dry ng pimple, nag-work dito sa tears. And also pala, to add sa cons, wala silang smaller na bottle. So, if hindi ka hiyang, sayang lang yung binayad mo. So, let's compare na yung Calendula and also yung Fairs. So, in terms naman, yun na nga, sa packaging nila, they're both simple. Pero dito sa Kiehl's Calendula, may ino-offer sila na, na smaller bottle. Ito na yung pinaka smallest nila. It's 125 ml. So, ito 355 ml. Meron mas malaki na ito. So, pwede mong piliin muna to kung hindi ka pa sure about kung okay siya sa'yo. Unlike dito, yun na nga, malaki siya masyado. So, wala kang choice kundi bilhin to whether kung hiyang ka or not. In terms of sa mga amoy nga nila, as I said earlier, may amoy to pero kung gusto mo ng walang scent, meron din sila nang ina-offer. But this one, yung Calendula, isa lang yung scent nila. Actually, hindi siya masyadong amoy. Very faint lang yung amoy niya. And it smells like tea. As I said nga dun sa video ko. Um, in terms naman sa, sa loob, clear liquid lang to. While this one, it has rose petals pa from the calendula flower. Nilagay na rin din nila yung um, petals. So, okay siya. Kasi nasasama rin siya sa face. Feeling mo mas natural. <laughs> in terms of its price, mas mura naman to. This one, um, 125 ml. And this cost 1,500 pesos already. Smallest bottle pa lang yun. Well, this one, it's already 355 ml. And 695 pesos lang. So, mas mura na siya kesa dito. Yung kinaibahan lang nila actually sa face, once na nilagay mo, this one, it's for sensitive skin talaga like mine and yun na nga pag dry yung face mo this is a really good product um hindi siya drying sa face very natural siya hindi nga lang niya nagagawa yung nagagawa nito which is sa redness and sa mga pimples talagang very effective to sa mga acne prone na tao and also pag very oily yung face mo this is really recommended so actually they are both alcohol free toners but they work on different skin types. Yun lang yung difference nila. They are both good toners. Okay silang parehong toners. Kailangan mo lang malaman kung nasa sensitive or dry skin ka, you should use this one. Pero if you have an oily, acne-prone skin type, then you should use this one. So if I were to choose, since depending sa skin type ko, I would go for dito pa rin, sa Kiehl's Calendula. It's natural, soothing, and talaga hindi niya napapadry yung face ko kahit twice a day akong maglagay. Yun lang, mahal siya since smallest size pa lang niya to and it's already 1,500. While this one, it's 355 na, doble na dito and it's only 695 pesos. So, if mamimili kayo sa dalawa, I hope na nakatulong tong video na to sa inyo. If you want more videos like this, um, you can comment down below kung ano pang gusto nyong i-review ko or i-compare ko na product. I hope na nakatulong to sa inyo. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, feel free to subscribe down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you again on my next video. Bye, guys!